Hey everyone, this is Humphrey Chung with Router Gods, and in this video we'll be showing you how to mess around a little bit with the show run commands inside of the Cisco IOS. So we already have our Dynamips and GNS3 started. We've got our wonderful uh, 2691 router already dragged in there. We started it and consoled into it. If you don't know how to do that, you can go into our previous videos. That will show you step by step how to do that. Alright, we've got our Dynamips up and running, we've got our console, we'll just hit no to this initial configuration dialog. Hit enter. If you want, you can pause the video and go through your basic steps, basic configuration steps of getting the host name, doing the no IP domain lookup and all that stuff, but for this video I'll just sort of skip that. So we've got our wonderful router and uh, we'll go into enable mode, and as all of you should know or you might have heard about it, the wonderful show run command gives you the running configuration of the router. So this is uh, basically the, the instruction set of the router. We've got a couple fast Ethernet interfaces. Those are shut down. And so that's pretty basic stuff. So just to make this a little bit more interesting, we're going to add in a RIP protocol. And actually, even before we do that, we should probably configure an interface. So we'll do a conf t. We'll add in a loopback interface. We'll just give it whatever IP address you want. And notice right there that configuration message killed me when I was typing it. It basically split up my typing into half. So we're going to fix that. Do conf t line con zero logging asynchronous. Right, so those configuration messages will now go in between the lines and won't mess, up, mess us up. So I added a uh, loopback interface. Let's configure that fast Ethernet interface. So interface fast 0 slash 0. Give the IP address 2.2.2.1. And no shut. Okay. It's not really going to do anything because there's no other router connected on the other side. Okay, we'll end out of here. That gets us to the regular enable menu, privilege mode. We do a show run, run right, right there. We'll have a little bit more stuff. We've got our interfaces and we've got that. And Oh, we forgot to configure RIP, so we'll go back to configure mode. Pretty easy to configure RIP, router RIP, network. And we configured a loopback interface. We'll just make it easy, 1.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. If you don't know these commands, don't worry about it. Just follow along and type them with me, and we'll have another video on configuring RIP. Okay, fix that over there. Fix that over there. Do another show run. Okay, so we see our interfaces, we see route RIP, and the networks. It's pretty, pretty interesting. Okay, so show run by itself shows everything then there's what's called the pipe command so you put up that little symbol right there on most keyboards it should be this symbol right above the slash key so on my particular laptop keyboard it's right above the enter key and you have to hit shift to get it and add an I in there I means include so what it's going to do is it's going to look through the running configuration and it's going to find whatever matches after I. So let's say we've got here line console zero. So I want to find everything that matches line console zero. So we'll, we'll just put in line and see if that works. Let's look into the config and it found three matches. You, you can see here line con zero, line auxiliary zero, line VTY zero four. Looking in, inside of our running config, you see that is just what it did. It found the matches. Let's say if we wanted to look for just that line, show run pipe I AUX. Let's see what it finds. Cool. So line auxiliary zero. What if we wanted to find information about the RIP protocol? So we do show run pipe I RIP. Oops, so we got router RIP. Now, if we go back to show run, you'll see that under the RIP command, we've got networks. So usually when you're looking up RIP stuff, you probably want to show that whole section of, of information under RIP, because just showing router RIP doesn't really get you too much. So 
to show run pipe s s stands for a section and rip let's see what that gives us we can see here that show run pipe s rip gives us router rip and then everything in that section which is the network commands it's a far more useful command especially if you're doing stuff like ospf eigrp then you would do stuff like show pipe s eigrp gives you the eigrp section or ospf pretty handy command so what other pipe commands are there well you can see that by doing show run pipe and then hit question mark you got all these other things like uh, append begin all that good stuff but usually what you want to do is the most important ones are section and include Another interesting one you could use is you want you can find stuff that doesn't match what you type in. So let's give that a try. Show run pipe E for exclude OSPF. That should give me a lot of stuff because nothing will match. Yep. Seems to work. Alright, so in conclusion show run gives you everything that's pretty easy show run pipe i gives us just the lines that start or contain that command show run pipe i line gives us all the lines that have the word line in them and then show run pipe s for section rip that gives us router rip and everything below it in that particular section. It's probably show run pipe s is probably one of the most uh, useful commands after pipe i. All right, thank you for watching another router gods video. And in a future section, we'll be showing you how to do, configure protocols like RIP, EIGP, and OSPF. Thanks a lot.